everyone um, I'm going to show you how to do this design um, using this practice head um, I haven't used the practice head in my video before but I just want to have your opinions if you think the video went well um, yeah so this is the sort of design I'm going to do um, I'll teach you when you can sort of stop to leave out the simple part or you can take it ahead to another step if you've got enough time obviously you all paint at different speeds and you just can make it sort of suit yourselves. I'm just going to pause the video while I wipe this side off because this is the easier side for you guys to see. Thank you. So, first of all, I'm going to start up with um, loading up this tag one stroke called Fruiter. Uh oh, yeah. I'm just going to load that up onto. Um, I've loaded all, I've already loaded it up onto my Party Explosion number 10 brush. It is absolutely brilliant brush. Um, yeah, and I highly recommend the whole set. I bought the whole set, so I'm really pleased with it. Now what I'm going to do, I would usually start by going over the eyelid to sort of give um, like the effect of eyeshadow. And you sort of end on a point. Okay. And then you do like these um, petal shapes. Let me just um, sort that brush out. Yeah, so you do like these um, petal shapes, so you just go around and around and pull in. And then I'll just flick the brush down. Okay. And then at the top, I just flick the brush up. So that's the basic base that I do. And then the next thing, I'll load up my um, Silly Farm small point brush to make the petals. I'm going to load it up with Diamond FX White. I'm going to load it up really well. I'm not going to leave it too wet. I'm going to leave it a little bit gloopy so it sits on the practice head and dries up a little bit quicker. So I can go into the next part of the design. And I'm going to use Superstar 704, I believe, or it's called Pinky Red. It's my favourite pink at the moment. Here we go, I've loaded it up. I'm just going to do a five petal flower. So press, 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 press. And then I'm going to sort of make it hug the eye in a C shape. So press, 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 press. Oops, sorry it's in the way, but you know what I'm doing. And then press, press, press. Press, 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 and press. At the moment, it looks really messy, but as soon as I add in the details, it will start coming a bit to life. And then I'm going to pick up my local now, 3000 round number three, and I'm going to load it up with white. I use Diamond FX White. So what I'm going to do, just so it looks like it's hugging the eye still, I'm going to do teardrops going into um, these petals. So press and pull in, press, keep pressing and pulling in, getting shorter and shorter. And the middle one is the longest. And I'm just going to do the same here. So press and pull in. Like that. And I'm just going to do some around this area. So press and pull in. Like so. Okay, so that's the design so far. And then I'm just going to get some more white and I'm going to put it down the corners of the eye. So you go dot, 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 dot. No more than four because then it starts to look a bit overdone. So I'm just going to put a big white dot in the middle of this flower. And I'm going to put some dots, um, like clusters of dots, some small too big and 
in any sort of um, V shapes to sort of fill in the gaps. This, short, um, this sort of stuff just brings a little bit more interest into like the design. Um, just don't overdo it. Okay, so that's that so far. You could leave it at this if you're in a rush. It looks a lot messier on the practice head because, you know, it's just <laughs> the way it is. I'm going to use um, Old Red Superstar on my Mark Reed number two brush. So I'm going to load it up really well. Because this colour sort of complements this pink here. So I'm just going to do quick... Um, like accents to the flower just to give it a bit more of like 3d effect and I'm going to do that to all the petals surrounding like so You can start to see the shape of what I've created now a little bit better. I'm just going to carry that on at the bottom. And it doesn't matter what sort of size the lines are, you just want them there to sort of um, complement. I'm just going to pick up the local now number three again and load it up with white. And um, I think it's called Ocean Green, that one there. Um, I will list these down below, or if possible. Oops, I'll just go back onto focus. I'm just double dipping it with white and that colour I just showed you. I think it's one of the newer um, superstar colours. I really, really like it. I'm just loading up really well because I want quite a lot of green and I'm just going to sort of um, put them press and pull up. I've showed you this technique before in one of my videos. It's how I do my quick um, leaf shapes just to sort of save a lot of time from loading up one strokes or whatever. I'm just going to place them randomly around the design to bring a bit more colour into it. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the Mark Reed and I'm going to load up dark green. I'm using Superstars here because it's the only palette I've got out and I'm really tired from body painting on Saturday. So yeah, I would use other ones because I'm usually like a chameleon girl. But yeah, I'll use these. I'm just adding a line of the dark green in the middle of the green um, leaves. And then I'm going to do swirl. So just coming up from the middle, swirl it around and leaving a point. I'm just going to neaten it up. You wouldn't have this trouble on the face. On practice heads, it's a bit of a pain in the bum because it's not real skin, even though they do try their hardest to make it like it is. And I'm just going to do a second one, overlap it and flick out somewhere else. And I'm just going to do one at the bottom. And I'm going to neaten that out as well. Okay, so that's the design so far. And this is where I would leave it, but if you've got the time, or if it's like, you know, birthday kid, take it one step further. Loading up the local noir number three once again, but with the old red colour, the one that we used to accent here. I'm just going to, you wouldn't turn the face around in real life, but don't mind me doing this. I'm just trying to get it into the right um, frame for you. I'm just going to outline the teardrops very carefully and quickly I'm 
Oops, it's just running out of paint there. Okay. And then I'm just going to pick up a dry brush. I'm going to use a Royal Majestic here. Just pick up any round dry brush or even a filbert and then smudge the pink into the white. It just makes it look a bit more effective. Okay, just gives it a bit more depth. Okay, I'm going to do the rest to the other teardrops. So, oops, just around here. Like that, paper stain brush, smudge in the pink to the white teardrops, and again, do the ones in the inner corner of the eye. I'm just going to smudge that in as well and you can leave the design here but I like adding starburst so I'm just going to either do it with the same local nail number three I usually end up doing the whole design in the same brush because I get a little bit lazy like in my um, face painting especially when you've been doing it all day and you just want to quickly get through it so these designs are pretty quick, it's just when you're teaching them it takes a little while. I'm just going to use this Mark Reed again and I'm just going to add little starbursts. So quick flicks like that. Don't place too many as it gets a bit overpowering and you sort of lose the design. You can do some smaller and some bigger. I'm just going to add one here. And I would probably leave it at that. Yeah, and I would add some glitter. I'll either just add like a white iridis um like iridescent powder, um glitter or whatever and then I'd go back and I'd add black eyeliner well black paint as eyeliner if it's an older kid so just quickly line the eye. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. My video time is running out. Um, if you have any requests, let me know. Follow me on my Facebook. Um, just keep in touch. Any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment add, uh, and subscribe. And I hope to be teaching you some more designs soon. Thank you. Bye.